Hello everybody, it's Maria Willis from Cardbomb.com. I'm so glad to have you here today to celebrate Trinity Stamps and their second birthday. Today I'm going to be making a slimline card with three shaker windows. I will be using some of the slimline dies from Trinity Stamps. This is the one that I'm going to be using. It's called the Stitched uh, slimline die set and I'm going to be using this centerpiece to cut out the windows for my shaker card. I also have this wonky stitched wilderness set and it's super awesome because it cuts out these mountains and these clouds and stars. It actually impresses those little dotted lines into your card for some texture instead of cutting them out. And if you're going to be building slimline cards you're going to need the scenic borders set. Today I will also be using this Winter Friends stamp set as well as the Funfetti stencil set from Trinity Stamps for my card. This is a cool set. It has two different stencils and they layer, which is super cool. Now these are the dies that I used for my card and I wanted to show you that when I put them down I used washi tape but I put the washi tape on the inside of those squares as well as outside of the rectangles so that if anything sticks and tears the paper it won't ruin my card. You can also use these squares to make 3D pop-ups on a card. That's not what we're doing today, but just save those pieces. Now I'm going to go ahead and ink blend the background piece for my card, and I'm using Abandoned Coral, Picked Raspberry, and Squeezed Lemonade. This is going to be the piece that goes behind the shaker cards like that. So the next thing I'm going to do is ink blend that front piece, and I'm going to be using Wilted Violet. Salty Ocean and Blueprint Sketch. And you can see that I'm putting down the colors really heavily and that's just because I really want this card to be bold and bright versus more subtle look. I am making sure that all the colors are blended well together and that's how the card's gonna look when I'm putting it together. Now I'm gonna work a little bit more on that background piece and I just thought this was such a cool idea to use an alcohol wipe over the stencil to um, cause a water, or you know, the reaction with the oxide ink so that it would oxidize and didn't work out. Bad idea. Don't try it at home. Um, so I had to fix this mistake. So I went ahead and used my Versamark ink um, on top of my stencil so that I could then go ahead and emboss this whole stenciled background. It This did work, thank goodness. So I used my Hero Art Silver Glitter Embossing Powder. It's a silver embossing powder with silver glitter in it. It's super sparkly and I love it. And um, that worked out really well. But I do still have some of those oxidized spots and I wanted to get rid of those so I just used my brushes. I didn't even need any more ink. I just hit over the top of that um, embossed background and all of the um, oxidized spots did end up blending out very easily. So you can see I've got a smooth background again. Now it's time to lay out my card. I've already gone ahead and colored these little critters um, off to the side and I wanted to make sure that just I had enough critters and that I liked the layout and I'm using this awesome sentiment. It says, let the winter shenanigans begin. And I just removed the word winter because this is birthday shenanigans. So um, just make sure that you know that you can cut your sentiments apart and use them for any purpose that you want. I've got my piece of acetate and I'm gonna put that down on the back of that front panel using some score tape. So I'm putting score tape all the way around those, those squares as well as between the squares. Now that I've peeled the backing off, I can just put that acetate on there and it's perfectly sized because I used one of the dies from the slimline set to cut my acetate out. I'm pressing it firmly down so that there's no chance of it peeling off and now I've got a perfect front window panel for my shaker card. Now I'm going to grab my foam adhesive and I'm going to use these 5mm squares from Tonic Studios Craft Perfect line and I'm just going to cover the back of all of these little critters that I've already colored, um, cover the back of them and make sure that they're well supported on the front of this card. Some of them are going to be sticking on top of the, the acetate frame and these foam squares work perfectly for that. So I'm using my craft pick just to position them all and now they're all in place just like we had aligned them before. And the last thing to do was add on that sentiment. Now that the front of our card is put together, we need to go ahead and add some shaker guts. So to do that, we need to build the little window wells that the guts are going to sit inside. To do that, I'm taking my foam tape and I'm using a double layer of it cut down to a quarter of an inch to outline all of those windows. To do that, I just lay it on my table, double it up, and press it together. It's not tricky. Um, so now, Again, I'm cutting it down to a quarter of an inch because I don't want to see the foam tape when I flip the card over. So I'm not putting it right up to the edge of those windows. Now this is what it's going to look like. You can see that now I have some depth. I did the double layer of tape so that these 
Uh, shaker guts will be able to slide freely inside of the windows. I'm using these adorable little um, birthday cake sprinkles from Trinity Stamps, and I love that they come in these little cases, which means that I can pop them straight into my storage system without doing any extra work. Now that I've got shaker guts in all three of my windows, I'm going to peel off the backing from my phone tape, and I'm going to flip this over. Make sure that you put the color facing the front of the card otherwise you'll just have a white background um, and press that firmly together so now the front of our card is completely done and just make sure that it is pressed together so you don't have any of your guts falling out the side i cut um, a larger black frame to put on the background of this i just wanted a narrow black frame around the whole thing to make it pop so i glued that on with my nouveau deluxe adhesive it's a really strong liquid adhesive and it gave me just a second to move it around and make sure that everything was perfectly aligned and what I was going to do was I was going to put it on this white card base, but I ended up deciding that I actually wanted more of a black background, so I decided to make a larger black card base and not go with that white card base. I also decided to splatter some shimmer pen all over my whole background, so unfortunately I did that off camera and this is what it ended up looking like. So I really like that splattered background. I think it just adds a little bit of magic to it. And that black card base is seven and a half by eight and three quarters, scored at three and one quarter. Luckily, this size will fit perfectly in a number 10 envelope that I already have. So if you're looking for envelopes that will fit these easily, number 10 is the size that you're looking for. That is all for today, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you did enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Remember that today's video is also part of a YouTube hop celebrating Trinity Stamp's second birthday. To continue the hop, head on over to the next video. The link is in my description box below. If you'd like to be entered into a $25 giveaway, just leave a comment here on my YouTube channel as well on the rest of the channels in this hop. Thanks so much for joining me. Have an awesome day. Bye guys.